Hey everyone, welcome to Love Them Well. I started this channel as a homeschool help during COVID and I continue to do homeschool things because I love homeschooling. A lot of my friends homeschool and I love curriculum. It's something I'm really passionate about. You've probably met her before in previous videos, but this is my best friend, Abby. She is an amazing homeschool mom and I learn a lot from her, even from my own classroom. And in fact, funny story, we were at a rummage sale yesterday and she had me get this dress that's green and I'll have to show you guys but it's this crazy green dress. And she said, you have to wear this for when you guys are doing Anna Green Gables this year in seventh grade. And I did it. So she's a big influence on me. And some of the stuff you see that I do in my classroom does come from her. So yanks, I, I love you. I, I used to teach preschool. <laughs> yes. So, uh, and then I was in public school for a while too, but it was, oh gosh, it's just fun to like. It's so fun to be creative. Oh, yeah. And, and I love the way you homeschool and the way you do things. And so I am going to talk with her today about her math curriculum and why I am wanting to talk about it is because she's been using it for almost five years now and that's not common with homeschooling. Usually you, you go back and forth with math curriculums because it's really hard to find a good one for your kids yeah. and she's been talking about this for years and it is called Right Start Mathematics and I also wanted to talk about this today because it's not very heard of. You hear about a Becca, you hear about the good and the beautiful. Saxton um, math. Saxton is, is big. Matthew um, C. Matthew C. Um. There's another one. Um, oh, Masterbooks. So we, when we were homeschooling, we used a Becca and Masterbooks and I, and I liked them, but this, what I, what I love about this, and this is good for your child and probably most children, it's, it's game based and, and hands-on manipulative based that you said the lady who who created this is she got this idea from Japan? Uh, she studied in Japan. She yeah. studied. Okay, tell us about that first, like how this came about. Okay, so um, Joan Carter is the one who um, created this, and she has a PhD in math education, um, and she did a lot of studying in Japan and mostly um, in Japanese schools, and she taught in some schools and realized like way they're way ahead of a lot of American students as far as math goes and they're, um, they progress a lot faster. So she was researching like, why does this happen and how is it different? And one of the things that she created was um, an abacus that's based on fives and tens. Oh yes. Um, and so there's a lot of like visual, yes. um, visual memory um, based on this. So you, the kid starts with it at the very beginning of the curriculum but then later on, they can just visualize it. They don't even have to work the abacus. They can see it in their mind. That's awesome. Um, so it's not just numbers floating around. There's actual like items that they're thinking of or um, it just becomes like routine. And there are whole books, like this book here, of just games. Yeah, so she so also created 300 games in this book that you can use without the curriculum. Um, and it comes with uh, all these different card decks for like fractions, um, and math and time and so you uh, buy this kit and it has all the games but then it's used for all grade levels yes which is fantastic for families yes and yes how often do you think you guys play the games and do you play them when you're starting a new concept or like if a kid is struggling with a concept or yes yeah, so uh, in your in the curriculum itself it will say like uh, go to this um, game on um, like fractions with um, tens and so you'll you'll flip to the book and and start with that and then sometimes my kids like oh I really love that game let's play that one again so we when? just keep playing it <laughs> yeah. so we'll, we'll keep playing it and other times I'm like hey remember how we were doing multiplication products let's do the like the product war again because I think we need to work on that so yes. it's really based on like what you've done with them and and what they uh, the the program itself is very spiral like it runs through all the different things, but then you can use the games to master. So okay. there's kind of both. There's a spiral learning and then there's mastery with the games. And she picks up those concepts so fast. That's uh, awesome. And um, in, they do have a workbook that's kind of small in the beginning and then there's more pages later on. But um, each day it's very simple and there's just a very short amount. You know, it might take 10 or 15 minutes you don't have to spend hours. We were work. talking about that, how yeah. in middle school, I had, we did Saxton in yeah. middle school, and I had an hour of math homework every night. And 
And then we graded it the next day in class. Like the teacher told us the answers, we graded it. I failed most of them. And then we moved on to the next thing. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to spend tons of time on the concept or on practicing the concept over and over if you also have other ways to practice it that aren't just worksheets. Yes. And some kids are not worksheet kids, and I found that out when she was in kindergarten. Um, and then up into the first grade is when I finally broke down. I'm like, this isn't working. Workbooks are terrible. Yes. Uh, and so that's all that really – now, I know the good and the beautiful have kits – that you buy with their curriculum and it's very visual. I've I've seen that with, with Beth's uh, homeschool and okay. I think that's amazing, but I've never seen anything like this where it has so much that's hands-on, more than what I've seen with other curriculum. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Okay, so okay. It is, there is a big startup cost to it. Um, there's a little bit cheaper one if you already have a, like a clock with gears um, or a geo board. If you have, have some of those, there's a cheaper option, but you get a huge, um, well, with the curriculum at the very beginning, you want to get this huge manipulative set. Does it come, like you bought this box for your stuff, um, right? Yeah, and I just to get as you most get of it in, there. Put it in there. Yeah, so that's all the stuff that comes with it. And then um, everything else here on the table, we'll have to like show it. But Yeah, we um, will. Yes, we will do that. That's a good idea. So uh, what happens is once you buy the manipulative set, it's used during all the years and That's then awesome. can, and then they're sturdy too so you can um the cards are such good quality you could use them with multiple kids and mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're, they're laminated cards they're really nice yes and we you know used them a long time and they're still in great shape uh we've been doing this for four years so um yeah, yeah so you get all these different things and then throughout the series you're pulling these out at different times to use them for different concepts even, because uh, these little centimeter cubes, um, you can use them for a measurement. You right. can also use them um, for area. You can use them for scale. You can use them for, well, even in the beginning, we were doing patterning. Oh, um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, basic, the basic addition and subtraction, division, multiplication, like she uses these manipulatives. Okay, so let's look at one of the books and how a lesson is laid out. So what grade would this be for? Um, okay, so you would start at level A and that's um, kind of kindergarten, first grade. Okay. Kind of when you want to start it. Um, and then uh, it goes all the way up through the eighth grade, oh, which wonderful. is level H. And I love this because let's say your kid is advanced, they might do this in sixth grade. Right. They might or blow through them. This might be something in high school if they still need help with this. Yes. So, uh, okay, cool. Her program, um, it also talks a lot more about Joan Carter, Cotter's program um, being also very adaptable for students with neurological needs um, that uh, struggle with just the concepts themselves. So to do them in different ways with manipulatives or cards or with an activity sheet, um, you get all of those different ways of learning. Yes. And I love that. And um, I mean, but just any kid that's a little bit more active or they their mind works in a different way, it's so, it's so much easier. And I wish that I had this for math growing up, you know? And the, I agree. <laughs> I was a public schooler and that's cool. But they only just had one way to teach it. And yes. sometimes they were like, oh, well, you could look at it this way. But really, we want you to do it this way only. And here's the math book and here's the worksheet and this is your homework. And I just, numbers didn't connect with me very well. And I wish that I had visual aids. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, and so then as as the teacher, show me what a lesson looks like. Um, okay, uh, so, like, okay, so, this so is... a, a lesson would take like 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and it, uh, you open it up for you. The, the student doesn't even need a book right away. It's just you. And then they have warm-up questions to ask, and those are usually um, uh, auditory so that you just ask the question. Um, and then they answer it, and then you start the uh, different activities that they're asking you to do. And this is one with the abacus. And then at the very end, it might say, not every time, but it might say um, worksheet uh, 11, so you would open to their uh, worksheet book, and then they would have, um, that's not worksheet 11, this is worksheet 11. Uh, so then they would have a worksheet to work on, and that generally would take 
maybe um, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Um, it might be a little bit longer if you want to go slower or work through it a few times, but really uh, it's just a, a simple and um, the basic review of the concept. And um, her big idea is that you just need to work through it a little bit at a time. And so the next day you work through a little bit more of it, but then you might also learn a new concept. And then there's also reviews. So you can also assess, well, uh, what is my kid doing well on? What does she need to, he or she needs to work on? So there's a review and there's also games that she suggests to review. Oh, okay, yes, yes. And then the very next day you can call that the test. And so they do, they do the first one with help from you if they need it. The next one that's all on their own. What's up with the song? Okay, so there is a couple different songs that are awesome. Uh, this one's Yellow is the Sun and it comes with somewhere on the table under that. There's a little book and uh, a picture book with songs. And if you're familiar with oh. um, uh, oh. The Good and the Beautiful, they have multiplication song books. So this one is similar Which to that. I know them. Yes, and I know you love it. Three and then three we like nine, to... nine monkeys on a vine. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. so you learn uh, the fives, like what five, oh. um, five and four is nine. Same rhyme. <laughs> but uh, so you learn all of the um, the basics of fives because her curriculum is really centered around fives and tens, which is such an easy concept. Yes. Uh, especially with tens to really get that down. And then you can do such larger things yes. with those numbers because fives and tens are so simple. So you um, start the basis with um, this song. There's also a great song about how many days are in each month. And I kid you not, my kid is better at it than her own dad. <laughs> he's like, how many days in July? Wait, Penny, what's that song? Like, yeah, I was like, and there's some kind of like hand thing that kids learned I didn't, and I don't, and yeah. yeah my so there's a great weird. song for that um, that she also has. It doesn't have a song book, but okay. um, those songs have really been like helpful. That's awesome. <laughs> I have songs. They are yeah. so good. They're so yeah. good. So she really does try to cover every base of it. every way to learn. It sounds to me like it's worth the money you would spend on it. Yeah. Because I, it's the initial investment, but then you've got it. Whoa. We're not sponsored, by the way. This is not like a sponsored video where we're getting no. anything for this. Although, maybe you should. Okay. 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 Okay, so oh, what's this? What's okay, this? so that's this a math. Cool. That's a math scale. <laughs> and so um, when you're doing like multiplication, um, you know, like <laughs> if you have two fives, what does that equal on the <gasps> other side? No way. Yeah. So you would put one on the ten. Where is the ten? The ten. Oh my gosh. And then you can use that's... it for ad you can use it for addition, multiplication. Um, we also use it for, uh, we attach cups to the end and we put these centimeter cubes <gasps> in it for learning weights. What? Uh, it's so much this fun. It's blowing my mind. It's so much <laughs> this fun. This is so cool. So this is one of our favorite things, but um, there's so many extras. You'll just have to go on the website to see them all yes. because um, there's cool. a lot. There's a lot. I mean, so as a teacher who's not using this, could I just go buy this? Ooh, I have no idea. Oh, wait, or do you yes. have to buy the kit? Now they have, on the website, you can buy individual items. Because this would be so great. Yeah. Something like this. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. So. Um, okay, did this whiteboard come with? You, you get a whiteboard. You get a whiteboard. So you I'm do, all about whiteboards. Oh, yeah. So there's a lot of fun things that she has you do on the whiteboard. Yeah. This is, it's such a silly thing to say this because it's like, duh. But there's research that the whiteboard is the best way kids learn. Because so you fast. can, and this doesn't bother me because I'm not a perfectionist, but some kids don't like making mistakes. So, so pencil to paper, they just get nervous about it. But if they do it on a whiteboard, they can erase it easier. Mm -hmm. It's, it's just like a, a mental thing, yeah. but, um, yeah. And it's fun. It is fun. Okay. It is fun. Um, another thing that she is really big into, and I don't remember this from school at all. Oh, yes. The part and the whole. So yes. this concept like travels with you throughout the years yeah. um, with division and multiplication even, but you start it with addition and subtraction. So there's the whole and then what two parts equal that whole. Yes. So addition would be the two parts equal the whole, subtraction would be the whole, and then you have one part, so what's the other part? But even better, it introduced the concept of algebra and so this curriculum also sneaks in geometry and algebra and all those big things that are intimidating for later, but you've already uh, like dabbled in them 
as you've a, already created the foundation. Yes. And so it's so my kids are already, you know, doing algebra in the sixth and seventh grade and she like understands that and um, that was That's really cool. It was, it's so cool because that is not how math was for me. Yeah. I just love how everything, um, everything moves so smoothly, but you're also, she might be working on some of the concepts, um, for longer, yeah. uh, like division. They take a long time to go through all of division, but you're also, um, mixing it up with geometry and measurement and time and, um, algebra. There's a little bit of algebra in there. So, uh, it's it's not like you're doing a whole year of division. You get to mix it up, um, but you're still taking a lot of time to learn that main concept. Yes. So, I mean, which is kind of spiral. Um, Absolutely, yeah. and I like that it's spiral without um, worksheets making it. Like, that was the way that math growing up, the spiral was that you did a bunch of re review problems. Yeah. And not that that can't be done right. Uh, we do a little bit of review. So um, the warm up problems in the book, that's, uh, those are audio that though. She, would do here? she doesn't have to. A lot of these things, oh. uh, uh, Joan Cotter wanted a lot of these basic things to be mental math. Yeah. So you so picture it's an, it. Like an oral, like you're saying. Yeah, you oh, picture it and then she gets the concept and then you can add them so quickly in your head. And I was terrible at math, mental math. And so yes. um, my seventh grader is faster at me than that's fantastic <laughs> faster than we at mental yes. math um so we do all these mental math warm-ups because in the real world you're not gonna have a pencil and paper you're you're no, no i mean that and that's where i think i failed too as like as an adult i'm like i can't i gotta write this out or even like on my hand i'm like 14 minus yeah <laughs> I, I my brain's wasn't trained that way and i just maybe it's just not that way but that's really cool so mm -hmm. this this has helped with that yeah. um awesome that's so cool cool Okay, is there anything else we need? I, this is fantastic. This is a great review. About the math games, um, each game has written instructions and sometimes little pictures of the cards and how they're supposed to be laid out. But if it's a, still a little confusing, ta-da, there's a DVD in here oh, yay. that you can watch. And Joan Cotter plays it with some kids and it shows you um, like how to do the corners game and or how to do just some of the basic games. So um, some of the games... Um, build on each other. So you might be doing a war, but then it changes to a fraction war, changes to multiplication war. So you know the basic concept of the game, but then you ch change out what you're learning with it. And, um, and then you've gotten, you have bought this at the Great Homeschool Conference for a discount. Yes. So, so anytime you find a uh, math or Bright Start at a conference, usually they have a discount, so I always go Because one year, remember one year I went and I, I got it for you? Yes. you're like, I can't go, take it. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, please buy me level C. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I will pay you back. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. Okay, cool. I love this. I just think it's a great option, and I appreciate you um, talking about it because it's so cool. It is cool. It's Yay. Cool. It's the one, like, we love uh, Gather Around. Um, we love, well, and I have another Oh, and they're like, coming out with the math. Thing too. Are they? Yes. I wonder, like a family math? Is it like fam kind of like this? Like this could be used for the whole family. I have no idea. It's so new. Well, I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> so, um, but as far as consistency goes, I, I just love that this is something that's worked for you for year after year instead mm -hmm. of always trying to find what's going to work. So cool. Yeah. I love it. All yeah. right. Let us know if you have questions. I'll leave the comments open and then I'll give you a call <laughs> when it's like, so-and-so wants to know about such and such. Okay. Um, so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.